Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here from Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, the Renewable Energy International Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And this afternoon I'm joined by Max from Shop Solar Kits, and we're going to be looking at some solar generators, specifically the EcoFlow line today. Now, I know some of you out there are probably thinking, Joe, wh why are you talking about solar generators? This stuff is too small. It's not really what we're interested in as far as a home backup energy plan. But I'd like to explain a little bit about why we're starting to cover this category of products. And, and let's start with just what is a solar generator. So when you're talking about an off-grid solar power system, there's basically four main components that make up an off-grid solar power system. You have your solar array or your solar panels. You have what's called a charge controller, which is uh, something that regulates the, the flow of electricity from the solar panels into the battery. Uh, you have the battery, which is kind of think of that as your, your fuel storage or your energy storage tank. Uh, and then you have your inverter. Uh, and, and the inverter is a special type of electrical transformer that pulls DC direct current uh, electricity from the solar or the battery and it converts it into high voltage AC power uh, high voltage AC power where you can plug in right, uh, you know, your standard AC uh, appliances, whether it be refrigerators, televisions, and so forth. And so those are the four components that make up an off-grid solar power system. Now what a solar generator is, is it's basically an appliance that incorporates all of those, all of those functions uh, into an out-of-the-box uh, appliance that you can basically just pull out of the box and plug and play. Now the solar panels are still usually separate, but the charge controller, the inverter, and the battery storage is generally available now in an out-of-the-box format. So Max, um, I appreciate you taking time to chat with us today and introduce us to the EcoFlow line of generators. So tell us, what should the audience know about the EcoFlow line of solar generators? Awesome, well you clearly know your stuff about solar power, so that's awesome. Yeah, we like to say solar generators like a, a full solar kit in a box. And so with EcoFlow here, they basically got all your units from really small all the way up to super big units that can basically power your home if you need to at that point. The new one that's just being launched here is called the Delta II. Their original unit, just the EcoFlow Delta, uh, super popular. It's been around for about three years, honestly, at this point. And they've upgraded it with the new battery chemistry. So it's called lithium iron phosphate. That's gonna last like 3,000 plus cycles. So for most people, that's honestly like 10 to 15 years of pretty much daily use. So it's fantastic. Then you got on the front here, on all these units, you'll have your DC ports so you can charge, you know, cell phones and all those type of things. Off the back, as you said, with the AC power, that's where you're gonna power fridges, those type of things. So they're super useful in grid down situations, all those type of things. Now what's interesting about the Delta II here is that it's got an expansion battery. So you can just start, and a lot of our customers, they come to Shop Solar Kits, and they'll start with just the main unit and a couple solar panels. Then they're like, I want to add an extra battery onto it. I want to get more charge, more runtime. And so you can add an extra battery. That's what's really cool about the Delta II units here. You can hop up in size, though. If one of these units isn't big enough, it's around an 1800 watt inverter. To give you an idea, though, that's going to power 90% of the appliances that you need in your house, honestly, a fridge, microwave, those type of things. You can step up to a bigger unit here, like the Delta Max, and you'll see all the Deltas, they follow the same kind of form factor, right? They look fairly similar. They have a standard, they have a standard kind of design language. And so on the front here, with all the power buttons, this is where you have your DC. On the back, we'll show you, probably, maybe you guys can put in uh, photos later. Yeah, you have the AC plugs. This has a 2400 watt inverter. So you can kind of, you know, step up for the appliances that you actually want to run and power a lot heavier. And then you get over here to the Delta Pro. And this is one of the biggest units that they have here. And so you can connect two of these together through one of these things called the smart home panel and people power their whole houses with these type of situations. So we have people that honestly will, will run their full house in a grid down type of situation for like basically indefinitely because you can be pumping solar into it and running your whole house off of these units. So yeah, they're really popular uh, product lineup here. Uh, they give you a lot of portability and flexibility and it's a full solar system just in a box basically. All right, so when we look at a solar generator like this, you guys might be asking, Joe, this is way too small. Well, I'm not sure why you're even covering this. Does this even have any practical place in a household emergency preparedness plan? Uh, and I'm gonna say, yes, it does. Uh, particularly for those of you that are starting out on a very limited budget, if you need something that you can get up and running for less than a thousand bucks with some kind of solar storage capacity, the Delta II is a way to get started with that. Now, let me explain a couple of possible applications for that. First off, 
let's talk about what it's not going to run. This is not going to run your full-size refrigerator all day long, or at least not overnight for multiple nights. This is not going to run your air conditioning unit, at least not for any prolonged period of time. But that's not what this is designed to do. Here are some applications, though, that may really come in handy in a grid-down situation. Uh, first, just ch chargers for your portable electronics. You know, your cell phone, your laptop, your, your flashlights, if you've got re rechargeable flashlights or LED lanterns, no problem here with 1,800 watts of capacity. And basically, with, with 1,800 watts of, of instantaneous power capacity, that means any single appliance that plugs into a standard 120-volt wall out, you can use it. At least you can use it intermittently. That means your microwaves, uh, a blender, um, hot plate, induction cooktop. Um, also, in a real survival type situation, you may want to plug your chest freezer into this. Uh, chest freezers typically draw very little once the freezer is cold and everything inside is frozen. So once that, that, that freezer is cooled, if you leave it closed overnight, there's no reason you can't run a full-size chest freezer overnight with a unit like this. And, and if we're talking about real survival situation between portable electronics, being able to uh, cook, and being able to keep your food from going bad, you've got all your basics covered here for, again, an initial investment for as little, little as little of a thousand bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you said it well. The one thing I would say as well is I've actually seen on the original Delta, I have powered my full-size fridge with a Delta like this for a significant amount of time. So, because fridges, as you already touched on, once they actually cool down, the condenser has cooled down the actual fridge, they take very little power to run. So you can do it, but the beautiful thing with the Delta II is it does have an expansion battery now, so you will be able to run that for a little bit of a longer time. As, as you kind of hop up into the bigger units here, that's when you're going to be able to run stuff like a, you know, air conditioner um, for significant amounts of time. Uh, we've actually done a test here. We just bought like the most uh, popular air conditioner from Amazon, figuring people would do this, a little portable one. I think it was 10,000 BTUs. And I ran it on a Delta Pro and an expansion battery for like, it, was, it said it was going to take like nine hours that you can run it for. So if you have solar pumping in at the same time and you're running your air conditioner, you should be able to pretty much go almost all night with a Delta Pro and expansion battery, then the solar will charge it up back during the day. Um, yeah, so, you know, smaller, smaller scale things here, pretty much any appliance in your house you'll be able to run for the most part, as you said, not necessarily the whole day. And then you'll be able to run multiple appliances at the same time on the bigger units. And then that's when you into the largest units is really when you start to be able to run significant power uh, draining appliances. Absolutely. Now let's talk about solar charging capacity. Is, is this the 200 watt solar panel here? This is the 400 watt panel. Actually. The 400 watt, okay. So now kind of walk us through between the Delta II, the Delta Max, the Delta Pro, how much solar input can you can you yeah. feed into each unit here? It basically goes up by almost 400 watts every single time. So the Delta, the Delta II, the original Delta was 400 watts. This is now 500 watts. The Delta Max, you can get 800 watts of solar, and the Delta Pro, you can get 1600 watts. Um, you know, well, you can stay within the voltage range, but like uh, an easier way to think about it is like four, eight, sixteen hundred. You'll jump up by units of four hundred. Uh, the bigger the units you get. Absolutely. And so, as, as Max said, right, if you have solar power coming in, um, you can run some of those larger appliances during the daytime. You're not going to be drawing off of the battery power until the solar is exhausted, and now you have to draw off the battery overnight. So again, if you need to run intermittent heavy loads like. Uh, hot plates, uh, microwaves, blenders, you know, things of that sort, great. Do that during the daytime while the solar, you know, solar harvest is coming in so that by the time the sun sets, you still have a fully charged battery and now you can carry yourself all the way through the night for things like your chest freezer or even your full-size fridge that's already been cooled down. Completely. I actually lost power, funny enough, the other day for eight full days. It was crazy. It had never happened to where I was before. I had a Delta Pro, an expansion battery, and I had six solar panels to go with it. Uh, it's actually all documented, I think, on our TikTok channel or something. But I was able to run full, two full-size fridges. I was making coffee in the morning, microwave. I did a load of dishes. We were charging up everything that we needed. Ran fans at night. We basically ran almost as, you know, the necessities of, and more because we were running like, lo loads of laundry and a dishwasher. But I was able to run that with a Delta Pro expansion battery and some solar panels. So. That was a real world eight days without power in my actual house running significant appliances. So like I actually have tested it in the real world and it worked flawlessly. Excellent. 
Well, Matt, thank you so much for taking time to chat with us about the EcoFlow line. I appreciate it. Folks, I will tell you, I actually have one of these Delta II units sitting on my desk uh, back at the house in South Carolina. So I do plan on doing a more hands-on, in-depth review. We're, we're going to test out some loads like my ice maker, my chest freezer, microwaves, and really kind of put this thing through the ringer to see where it might fit in your emergency preparedness plan. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. So that way, as we have new videos, you know, covering the new products and new product developments, uh, you can keep current with us and our videos will come up in your feed. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at solar power options for your home, you can get a quote from us for Solar Surge for a full home, full service installation. Uh, if you're looking for a portable solar kit like the EcoFlow Delta II or the Delta Max, um, uh, feel free to reach out to Shop Solar Kits and, and Max and his team. We'll, we'll, we'll put a link in the description down below there just so you have it. Because um, look, guys, look, if you only have 1000 or 1500 bucks and you need to get started with something, this is way better than nothing. The whole home systems that we sell at Solar Surge are basically $15,000 and up. I'm not trying to turn you off from that. There's definitely a place for that, and that's the route that I've gone more myself, just to give me more capacity. But if you need to start something, or, or especially if you're a renter and you're renting your home, you can't put in a permanent solar installation, this is something that you should at least take a look at. So, well, thanks Max, so much. thanks again for your time, and have cheers. a great rest of your show. Yeah, cheers, well. well, guys, that does it for this video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.